Hello guys and welcome back to another video. As you can see I have my BMW E65 series behind me and today I'm going to be going over some of the common causes why your air conditioning in your BMW might not be working. Now then, we are going to start with the basic stuff. Now obviously for the aircon to work, your key has to be in the ignition the ignition has to be on and in fact the engine has to be running so we'll start that up right now and then when your engine is running obviously you will more than likely want to press the air conditioning button or you may want to press the max button which will give out full power almost instantly but let's say for example we just want to use the regular aircon where we can just toggle the force it puts out manually now of course if you have dual climate controls this will alter either side now you may want to make sure that it is at its coldest position which on this car is right there and right there if say for example if it was you know set at 25 degrees this side would be actually be coming out warm and this side would be coming out cool so you need want to make sure ideally that both are set at their coldest position okay then so if you still find that your aircon is not functioning correctly you know it's not coming out cold even with the aircon button activated with your engine running and with the climate controls set to their coldest position there may be a few things that you want to check but what we'll do is we'll get outside we'll pop the bonnet and then we'll take a look in the engine bay and there may be a few things that are of concern so i'll put them out to you and it is worth checking them yourself Okay, so I was actually going to leave the engine running, but it's just way too noisy and you would not be able to hear a thing that I was saying. So then what we'll do first is remove the engine cover just to give us better access and it'll allow me to show you a lot easier. Okay, so with the air conditioning system itself, it is actually made up of two main components in the engine bay. So it is, of course, the air conditioning compressor, which is located just here on the drive belt system. Of course, yours may be located in a different position depending on which engine you have, but it is typically always driven off the drive belt or the auxiliary belt. And then you will have a air conditioning condenser, which is kind of like a radiator. It's usually built into the radiator pack. So there is typically the engine radiator, which cools the uh, coolant for the engine. And then there is typically a condenser for the air conditioning unit. Now, in terms of mechanical failure of your air conditioning system, it's typically going to be in one of two of these places. So if you find, for example, that your air conditioning pulley is not spinning or not spinning freely, that could indicate a problem in the air conditioning compressor. Or if you find that your air conditioning condenser is damaged say for example it is you know dented then you may find that some air conditioning gas is actually escaping through the condenser itself which would mean that eventually all of the gas will escape you will, will not have any of the gas to keep your air conditioning unit cold now if you determine that both of your components are working correctly you know your compressor is in good condition the pulley spins very very freely you know there's nothing wrong with the uh, power connector on it and your condenser itself is in good condition you know no damage to it then you may want to follow the lines themselves where you can actually top up the gas in the aircon system so there's one there one there and it may be worth following the lines just to ensure that there is no leaks or obvious damage to any of the air conditioning lines themselves and once you have determined that there is no leaks in the air conditioning system you know you've checked all of the 
pipe work there is no leaks from there there's no leaks from the condenser you know your compressor is working as it should then you may want to check a little sensor called the AUC sensor. It is typically located underneath the bonnet on earlier models, say for E46 or E39, it is located down on the fan, so right next to the main radiator. Uh, but on later models, it's typically located near the cabin air filter box and it looks kind of like that and what this thing does it measures the quality of the air coming in to the cabin so what you may find is if this thing isn't functioning correctly as it should it may actually cause your air conditioning to not work completely and if you have any fault codes associated to the AUC sensor and you also find that your air conditioning is not working, it may be worth changing this and seeing if it cures your problem. But if your AUC sensor is working correctly as it should, and everything else under the engine bay in terms of the air conditioning system is functioning as it should, then there is one more thing that we need to check and we actually need to go back into the car and use the iDrive system. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay then guys, so I have saved the best for last. What I'm about to show you is actually the most common cause for your air conditioning not to work in your BMW and it's actually something that not a lot of people are aware of when they buy these cars. Now if your car if your BMW has the iDrive system then there will be a good possibility that you will be able to actively change the climate control settings and that may be the reason why your aircon appears to not be working so obviously if we have already determined that the entire aircon system seems to be functioning as it should but we'll we're still not getting that icy cold air coming through the vents then you may want to check this one thing so what we're going to do is head over in the iDrive to the settings now bear in mind this is the CIC iDrive system so if you have the previous CCC or the mask one or mask two system it will look a little bit different but you just need to navigate to your settings and then what you want to do is head over to the climate settings and then obviously we have a few different things that we can change in here heats you know seat heating distribution of course they have the heated seats but what we want to go ahead and do is head over into the ventilation temperature okay then so this is exactly where we want to navigate to so if you find out that your vents are still not blown out that icy cool air even though the entire air conditioning system appears to be functioning correctly you know there's no errors associated to anything in the air conditioning system then you may just need to adjust this wheel here as silly as it sounds i know you may just need to adjust this wheel you know to be honest this isn't the most obvious thing that you would check for you know it is pretty hidden away you do have to navigate into the settings and the climate settings and then you will be greeted with something like this so if you find out that your ventilation temperature is in fact on the hottest so for example if you have you know set this or the previous owner had set this in the winter time there's a good chance that they may have set it to the hottest but you know you would just think that as long as these are set to the coolest you know it'll just blow, blow out cool air no this actually needs to be set to the coolest option as well if you do not do that it doesn't matter what temperature you set these to you will not get cool air out because you know that's obviously going to be set to the hottest so it's well worth remembering this in the summertime, you know, when you want your air conditioning to work and in the winter time when you want your heating to work as well, that you need to remember to adjust these. You know, you cannot just rely on the dual climate control uh, toggle here. You know, you need to obviously set these, but then you also need to remember to set this in the ventilation settings as well. Okay, so once you have set that to the coolest, you know, either 
side of the dual climate control is set to the cooler setting as well. All you need to do then is turn on the aircon and enjoy. Okay then, so that is the common causes why your air conditioning may not be working in your BMW. As you saw, it may just be something as simple as navigating through the iDrive system and adjusting the ventilation settings. But I hope you have found this video somewhat helpful. I know your aircon is definitely something that you want working, especially in the summertime. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please remember to give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so because I've got a lot more BMW videos on the way and I'll see you all in that next one. Peace!